What is going on my skiing friends and family? I had a great day in Whistler today. I am currently taking my boots off, which is the holiest part of most days. I wasn't planning on staying over, but uh, I decided last minute, you know what? Forecast looks good, it looks sunny tomorrow. We're camping in Whistler tonight. Uh, where are we camping? I don't know. We're gonna see where the uh, the parking signs are and uh, where I can crash for the night, but I'm pretty rogue. We're just gonna mess around. I know I always show you guys what I'm doing during the ski day, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I do after the ski day. The ultimate trick to not sleeping in is to sleep in your car. So I think tonight, last night it was like minus 15. Tonight, I don't know, it's probably gonna be like minus eight, minus 10 tonight. So it's not gonna be too bad, but it's gonna be bad. Step one of the very uncomplicated Whistler camping Sega, and the most important step is, uh, is grab some dinner. So I'll see you guys in the grocery store. Good, how you doing? Awesome. Oh god dang. Well Quack. that sucks. $55 parking ticket. I just ran into Fresh Street super quick to grab a couple groceries. This is the first parking ticket I've had in my entire life, guys. My entire life. I'm hungry and now I'm cranky and I'm $55 poorer, but I, I talked to the parking guy, he was chill. Hopefully I don't have to pay. $55 because that's brutal. Parking tickets, brutal. Like what? Oh, I need a beer. <laughs> Good thing I always have kokanees in the truck. Let's go cook dinner. Cheers, guys. I know it's something different, but I figured maybe you'd enjoy watching me kind of camp around. I pull this right out so as you can see. Oops. I got all my cutlery in like a nice little bin, super organized. Slider up, grab my stove, and I'm definitely gonna need some pepper tonight. My propane's just in here. I built a little cover for it that I can pop up. Pull it right out. Turn her on. Oh yeah. She's good. That's not good. Should be sparking. There we go. Oh my God, look at this. Oh no. <laughs> it's completely frozen. Oh. <laughs> look at this snake of frozen oil. That actually worked really, really well. Pretty pumped about that. Got a couple cloves of garlic. Get that steak on there while I cut. Oh, it looks good. Nothing like red meat after a ski day. We're not wasting anything tonight. We're just gonna eat everything. A little steak spice on it right off the bat. This is a Betty Crocker knife, people. Nothing is duller than these, but they do the job and they do it well. Get a little oily spot for it in there. Oh yeah, garlic. Look at all those onions. Oh, it's an onion party in there. An onion and a garlic party, people. Give me a big meal. That's a lot of red onion. I'm gonna have onion breath for a month. Something I really, really love about sleeping in the truck, just kind of liberating, like sleeping wherever you want. Like we lived uh, four months, just this, that was it. Happiest I've ever been, the best my body's ever felt. Like I think there's really something to be said for going minimal. Broccoli's all chopped up. Oh, that smells so good. All the brock, go the brock. No need for a strainer with these magic hands. So the noodles are done. Oh, oh, maybe not so magic. We'll just keep them on a low heat to kind of keep them warm in the cold here. This is the right size meal for me. I'm gonna be nice and full. Look, crunchy. The broccoli needs some work. Now to make this more stir fry like, we're gonna add some uh, some soya sauce and, uh, and some sriracha. 
The Sriracha has been in my truck now since the summer, so hopefully it doesn't go bad. I really don't know with Sriracha what the deal is. Let's put a bunch of soy in there, whatever. I'm gonna burn a lot of calories in the backcountry tomorrow. Pump a bit of this Sriracha. If it goes bad, I'm gonna be sick as a dog. Oh, that's looking good, people. The sun is starting to fall. The temp is starting to cool off. It's getting chilly. It's getting real chilly. It's a two beer minimum, people. Oh yeah, that soya sauce is seeped right in. Yeah, that's done. I never see more cooked beef in my life. So here's the thought process. I'm thinking a bit of Mr. Noodle kind of on the bottom. Nice steaming hot stir fry right on top. Whoa, it's a lot of beef, man. It's like a pound of beef. This is like a food challenge. <laughs> Look at the size of this meal. <laughs> oh yeah. Mmm. Do I not even have a fork anymore? We're going at it with a spoon. Oh, wow. Mm, guys, this is the next level. This is gourmet. Gourmet times 10. Oh, man. Oh, man, this is phenomenal. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. Just shoveling it in. Got a long, huge, hairy curl in my meal. Oh, my. We were almost done. That was a marathon. Oh man, oh man, I'm full. A quick fun fact about me and Laura's four months on the road, believe it or not, I don't know if this is something to be proud of, but I think we only washed the dishes with soap maybe like three times in four months. I know it sounds disgusting, but uh, we've got no foodborne illnesses, so, and I'm still standing here, so it was just fine. Oh, sunset was pretty early. Just gonna grab a sleeping bag. That's what we're using tonight. Nice little mummy bag. Little Mountain Warehouse Summit 300. That's it, warm sleeping bag. I'll be nice and dry in here. No problem at all. Bingo, bango, boom. Stay in Worcester on a budget. That's what I'm talking about. Let me know in the comments if you think this looks comfortable. Um, in the summer, trust me, when I have full bed in here with the pillows, this thing is comfortable as hell. I'm gonna do about three hours of work on my laptop. I usually just sit in the front seat. It's gonna be a fun night. We're gonna freeze our tush off. I don't think I'll be taking any of these layers off either. A good hack uh, is to always know where the nearest garbage can is after you cook. So, you know, when you're in a truck, you always wanna know where the nearest can is. If you're living in a car or a truck or whatever, because it makes it so much easier. Three hours later. You might think I'm crazy to be able to sit in the truck, but honestly, these captain seats in the Ford F-150 are superbly comfortable. Get these electronics out of the way. We're gonna have a little bedtime snack because uh, because it's gonna be cold as hell in there. There it is. <laughs> Kokanee, bedtime snack. It's gonna be cold, so we wanna make sure we keep our brittle bones warm. It's not too bad tonight. It's gonna drop down to minus 10. Calling for sun tomorrow, so here you can see I'm not, I'm not joking around, right? Minus six right now is what it says. Uh, and minus 10 is what it's gonna be by seven in the morning. So honestly, super tolerable temp. If it was minus 20 like it was yesterday, then my sleeping bag wouldn't actually even be rated to that. My nighttime routine is pretty damn simple. Usually I'd brush my teeth and floss. Uh, I'm a big flosser, but uh, I forgot my toothbrush. So none of that tonight. No good hygiene happening here today. Ah oh, man, I love getting into this thing. Ooh, it's definitely nippy. Hopefully this doesn't explode or anything stupid. Awesome, cheers guys. How you get through a cold night? Man, I feel so relaxed in here. The air is so fresh because <laughs> there's no insulation. And it just kind of smells like that uh, treated wood that I made the bed out of. And it smells like the summer, man. The summer was so good. It's weird being in here without Laura. We live four months, two bodies in here for four months. It was so fun. You gotta do what you gotta do for the shred, you know? Too unaffordable to be staying, especially at Whistler. You know, you need some serious coin. I think a big dream of mine on this channel would be, would be to ski a bunch of different mountains and, and test them out, you know, for the resorts. I don't know, maybe I can try and link up some sort of sponsorship deal. I'm on my last sips of beer here. Honestly, pretty freaking exhausted. I don't even like running a pillow with a sleeping bag. Honestly, I'm like a, I'm one of these crazy guys who likes sleeping like on a pretty flat surface. So what I'm thinking is if I pack my hair in here, like some sort of like balloon, there we go. It's like what I do when we're hiking. You can see I've got enough hair in my head that it pretty much acts like a pillow. 10.09 PM, I'm getting out 
touring, ski touring tomorrow. By a later day. Ski touring, you always leave later than the resort if you're not if you don't have a crazy uh a crazy target. So we'll be off maybe start hiking by eight thirty nine. Good night. <laughs> I don't know how to end that off. I guess I can just shut the light off and that's a good way to do it. I think so. Good night. I'm awake, I'm alive, feeling a little bit damp. That's pretty normal. The condensation's almost the same as the summer. It's just colder and wetter. It's 7.51. That means I slept like literally 10 hours, which is fabulous. I sleep like a rock in the truck, because as you can see, it's so dark in here. The windows um, are all iced over. My hands are pretty cold right now, so I think I'm gonna get in the car, warm it up. It's pretty chilly, I think it's like minus 12. I always worry that these handles are gonna freeze, but I think they're all right. Uh, isn't it beautiful? Oh, my fingers. Or what's coldest once you start fiddling around and doing tasks. Look at the frost on the truck. That heat going. Oh yeah. In the summer when we were sleeping residential a lot, it's always the play to uh to leave ASAP because you don't want people to find your spot, find you out, you know? Breakfast is all about speed. Getting that coffee on as quick as humanly possible. I know there's like a lot of internet influencers who go crazy with coffee, like they all grind. They're living in trucks and cars and they're like grinding their own beans and uh, and then like slow dripping it. Like I literally just use the cheapest coffee you can buy from the store and I put it in a French press, which is a pretty easy thing to be using on the road. Um, I'm not grinding my own beans. I'm not like, I love coffee in the morning, but I'm not like a coffee connoisseur. Keep it simple, you know, I keep it real when I'm camping and when we were living in the truck, I kept it super real. I wasn't wasting time grinding beans in the morning because it's freezing. Who the hell wants to sit there and grind beans in the morning? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Nice, dark, thick brew. Frozen peanut butter, get a nice gobule in there. There you go. Oh yeah. Simple but effective breakfast. You know, a good hack, you might be wondering, oh, if it's snowing, the truck's pretty useless outside. And that's true, but Creekside has free underground parking, not overnight, but it's a killer place to go like in the morning, cook a meal like in undercover, and then use the washrooms there, you can brush your teeth, whatever. You got the store right there, you got garbage cans. So the Creekside underground lots made for car dwellers. That was delicious. This car is warm. This coffee feels warm on my hands. Life's good. Well guys, that was a lot of fun. I'm cold, my fingers are cold, but all in all, spirits are high. The truck camping is something I, I really love. Camping in general, sleeping outside, that fresh air is something I really love, regardless of if it's cold, sometimes it's a bit painful, but I kind of like, I find it's really grounding, feels really good, I have really good sleeps, so, uh, so you just can't beat it. And that feeling of just kind of moving, making food everywhere, whatever, is always kind of fun. So stoked I could bring you along. I had fun filming this. Uh, my fingers are still pretty cold, so I'm excited for them to warm up on the way, uh, on the way to the trailhead. Uh, it's gonna be a good day. Thanks for tuning in. Do some winter camping because it's fun. Oh yeah, and keep on shredding. See you next time.